Hey YouTube, today I am dealing with a leaky um, KitchenAid washing machine. Um, I came out here, the washing machine was running, and I had water spilling out onto the floor. Um, wiped up the water, but now I am seeing that um, underneath here, I don't know if you can see it, you can see where there's like shiny water underneath the little lip that runs under the washing machine. So I'm gonna pull this panel and see what is actually up with my dishwasher to um, to fix it and see what's leaking on this thing and let's get it fixed. All right, so underneath this dishwasher, there's two, two little screws. Um, one on this side and then one on this side over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and then that bottom panel should just come right off. I got those two screws out and then this little panel comes out and this noise dampening panel should come out. Alright, so with those out, then I can like shine a light in there and I see more water. But more importantly, I should be able to like see kind of where the source of that water is coming from. How far back does the water go? And then just try to find where the water's coming from. So I got water back here. I got a lot of dirt and debris. Water here. Water here by this drain hose. So what I might do is just try to run this thing on a rinse cycle and see when does it start dripping and that's when I will um, see better of where the drips are coming from. Alright so I'm running this thing on rinse and right away I'm seeing water come out of that thing, <laughs> whatever it is, it's like right in the center underneath. And um, this is again, just on rinse mode. It's coming out of this, it's just water's pouring out of that, it's dripping out. Um, so I gotta see why. See, look at that. definitely my culprit. Now to see why and how to fix it. So the part that's leaking um, in the center underneath um, I found out is the diverter valve motor and apparently the part that comes into where there's water is in here under here and it's um it's got a little seal with a little um the little pole or post sticking up through the seal. And apparently that little um, seal gets um, compromised after a while. It's like $10, $15 on, on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is try to access that seal, see if I can patch it up right now, make it tighter, put something in there, and then um, order one up and replace it. So let's see if we can figure out how to get to it. So I think this thing just turns and comes out. Ooh, look at all that crud in there too. Good time to clean all the gunk out of this thing. So pull that out of there. And then we have this. This thing here, it looks like it has a little lip. Um, this all, all this stuff kind of connects into this too. Hmm. That's interesting. 
So this this kind of flops around in here. I mean, this has this lip, this like trigger. I wonder if I can turn this and get this out without taking this stuff out. Oop, that pops off. right out of there it seems like there's like little flaps on the side of this thing which will allow this thing to come out maybe so I'm trying to do is get Get this stuff apart. Get this off of here and this off of here. And it looks like this twists because it's got like this little lock here. Twists and pulls out. So at this point, I'm just trying to get. I'm kind of guessing. Um, it looks like this thing here just pulls right out. Right, it just kind of snaps in there. And then this, it's got these wings on the sides. Right, you can't seem to pull this off. Although I imagine that comes off of there somehow. All right, so this pops out and you can kind of push that over. And then this thing, if you pull these two flanges on each side, it looks like you can just kind of push, pull this out. Now, this stuff is all kind of plasticky and gets heat treated every now and again. So it, I assume it's fragile. So just be careful not to break anything when you're pulling that out. Um, I was able just to push it to the side without breaking it. And then I assume I pull this up and yeah, that just twists, right? Twists out. So again, clean all that gunk out of there. It's got an O-ring in there. So I'll clean that up before I put that in. And then, let's see. If this thing, what's this thing? This is probably sitting on that post. Yeah, that sits on that post, right? So um, that was like, how was that? I'll have to look at the video on where this was actually positioned because I probably want to position that the same way. I don't know. <laughs> Is it one of those things where it only fits one way? Yeah, that only fits one way. So I don't have to worry about putting it back the right way because um, it only fits one way on there. So I'll pull that. And now I have this post and look at it like wiggles in there. So there's definitely space between the post and this seal. And so that, my friends, is where the water's going through. Because that's the only part, point of that, that um, diverter valve that actually comes in contact with water, is this. So that's the, the place, the point at which the water comes through. So how to pull this without destroying it, how to pull, pull this little seal without destroying it. Or if I had the seal in hand, I could just pull it and destroy it and put a new seal in. But I'm gonna go ahead and order the seal from Amazon, um, which will be here in two days. But in the meantime, I like to still use this thing. So my um, my thought, I saw a few people were just putting like straws and other things that fit on this just to fill that gap. And it's enough to seal it again. Um, because what happens is this thing shrinks up over time this little um, rubber seal shrinks up and it doesn't fit as tightly on around this so if you can put something in between there um, it's a good te temporary stopgap so I'm gonna see if I can pull this thing without removing this whole washer or, or washer yeah the wash the whole washer machine dishwasher um, if I can pull this seal out and just slide something over and then put the seal back down that'll be a good um, should be a good um, good enough fix until the new seal comes from Amazon. Because I don't think this is something that I'm just going to be able to buy at Lowe's. So i got all this crud in here. It's a good time, again, to just clean all this stuff out. This is just soap and stuff, I guess, residue. But anyway, um, yeah, let me see if I can figure out a way to take that seal out. So mine is really stuck in there. 
I was able to pull out like this this little spring thing, which I think is a part of the the grommet. But yeah, you know I'm like in the mode of just tearing this thing up. Um this seal really just doesn't want to come out. It's like locked in there. So I'm gonna pick at this a little bit. And maybe I'll get it out. Maybe I'll have to just take it out and clean this socket out. Cause it seems like it's maybe all that dishwashing detergent and stuff is just locked to this seal in there. Mine just definitely is not just coming out easily. See, it's just like doesn't want to come out. The seal's just coming apart. And it's still not coming out. So I'll keep working on this, try to get this out there. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Lowe's and Home Depot and see if I can find this seal. So I got it out. Definitely can't reuse this one. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can find it at Lowe's or Home Depot first. And then it should just be a matter of putting the new one on and putting it all back together, cleaning it, and it should be good. All right, so. I got my package from um, Amazon, uh, $9 in tax. Um, went to Lowe's and they didn't have it in stock. I didn't even bother with um, Home Depot. I figured they didn't, Lowe's didn't, they didn't either. Um, so hopefully it's the same thing. It said it was on the website. It had the model number of this. Um, so I'll go ahead and add the link for this this one in my um, in down below in the description of this video. Um, but hopefully this works. It looks like it's got the little spring that I pulled out initially, and um, yeah, it looks nice and fresh and new. So um, let's go ahead and slap this in here and um, put the parts back in, run our load, and hopefully we have um, a washer that's not leaking anymore. So let's do it. All right, so we got our little part. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out of this bag. And there's two sides. There's one side that's um, closed, and one side's got like an opening around it. You can see a spring on the inside. The side that's open goes on the top. And push that in. It's a little tight. So um, I've seen other people put these on. They put a little um, a little rinse aid or detergent on there to loose to lube it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a little bit of whoa. Put a lot <laughs> of rinse aid on this thing just to get it loose. So it slips on here without tearing it up too much push it down set it in here all the way around doesn't quite sit flush it didn't seem to but it's definitely seated in there and it's definitely tight i don't get the little a lot of slop in this which i did before so i'm gonna wash my hand off and then i'm gonna get the rest of the parts put them back in here and um then we should be good to go okay so the first thing that goes back on is this little diverter plate it goes on one way then we have this cap. I went ahead and cleaned it off and had a bunch of gunk in here. I took out this um, gasket, cleaned it off, and put it back on. Um, so this goes in. Hopefully this got little pieces of stuff already starting to fall in there. Off of this. So I just got all this soap, cred res residue. So this tab here, like rides along this and snaps in here. This should go down somehow, and then we've got 
looks like that's what we got. And then these guys go in here. I think you're supposed to take these off, but I didn't. Let's see. Try not to break this stuff, obviously. There we go. Just spin it a little bit wiggles in and then these tabs cinch down push that in the tabs cinch down on that and then this one locks in straight down like that and then I think all we have left is this guy which just kind of like comes down and clicks So that guy spins. Clean this thing out. Make sure you pop this thing out. This thing just kind of clicks over. Or clicks over one way or another. Clicks out. And just clean out all the, the garbage. This thing was all clogged up. So I know I'm pretty sure that that gasket was the leading cause of my problems but you know you never want stuff clogging up all these holes and everything in here because um, you don't want stuff pouring out of your dishwasher when it gets clogged so anyway um I'm gonna go ahead and just run this thing as is before I go put all the dishes in just to make sure I'm not leaking and um, hopefully it doesn't leak and then I can run these dishes get them out of the sink So I am just going to do a rinse only cycle. I'm going to start, close this up, start to rinse, and then we will watch under here for any problems. Before, the leak was coming right out of this thing right here. Um, white. That's the um, diverter valve motor. All right, so I definitely had water by this time. Last time I tried this. So I am going to declare this a success. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, everything's dry. So um, I think I fixed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom bottom cover on this again, so I don't hear any of this noise. And um, tell my wife I fixed fixed the dishwasher. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Later.